Arizona recently became one of the eight states to take legislative action aimed at banning the teaching of critical race theory in schools. According to a new study by the Brookings Institution, on yesterday's program, we looked at what exactly critical race theory is and what it isn't. Today, we look at the impact Arizona's new law will have on the state's teachers and students. Rob Winder has the story. Part of the state budget bill Governor Doug Ducey signed into law last month included language prohibiting Arizona educators from teaching students that, quote, an individual by virtue of the individual's race, ethnicity, or sex bears responsibility for actions committed by other members of the same race, ethnic group, or sex, or that, quote, an individual should feel discomfort, guilt, anguish, or any other form of psychological distress because of the individual's race, ethnicity, or sex. Arizona State Senator Martin Quisada, who also serves on a Valley Elementary School Board, says that language is dangerous, as it could be interpreted very broadly to curb the teaching of uncomfortable topics. Some of that discomfort is, is going to happen because we aren't a perfect nation and we haven't always acted at the highest level of ethical standards. And you know, we've, we've made mistakes and the point of, of learning about those mistakes is that so we don't repeat them. Lindsay Love, a member of Chandler Unified School District's governing board, says many teachers are unsure if what they teach would be defined as critical race theory. And there are concerns that many will be reported for teaching it. We have had parents get up in open meeting and say, we can't wait for school to start so our children can record you teaching CRT. And the consequences for violating the new law are potentially severe. Teachers can have their teaching certificates revoked and districts can incur fines of up to $5,000 for each infraction. That's created a pressure cooker for a lot of our teachers. And a lot of our teachers are looking at if career-wise, this is something that they want to get into. If they want to continue teaching or if they want to look at something else or if they want to continue teaching in this state or look at going someplace else. Katie Nash, president of the Chandler Education Association, said her district has given some guidance to alleviate confusion about the law and more guidance is expected. She said her union has also offered its own guidance about classroom discussions. Basically it was, you know, do continue to have the lessons that you've always had and do continue to stress the fact that this is student-led, this is student opinion, student thought, and that you leave your own personal opinion out of things. And if you can do those things, you should be able to continue the way that you were before. While teachers await more guidance, Senator Quisada said the guidance Arizona's children are receiving from the outcry over critical race theory is that tough conversations about race are just not okay to have. That is the most dangerous thing because these are conversations that we have to have. You must have these conversations, otherwise the divisions that are in place now are only going to get deeper, get deeper and wider and more severe. In Phoenix, Rob Winder, Cronkite News. We reached out to Governor Doug Ducey's office and the Arizona House Republicans Caucus for their perspectives and did not receive a response. 